please call me Sara. I'm 35 years old woman from uh, Iran. That I'm a like huge fan of football, also a feminist. Uh, and when I was like maybe 15 years old, when our national team uh, qualified for the World Cup in France, uh, I become such a huge fan of the football. And since then, I always felt like I should. Go to the stadiums. It's my right. It's it's a public place. When I was um, 23 years old, I met some other women that uh, they also want to go to the football stadiums. They are uh, from different background: journalists, many just a football fan. We create a group, uh, and uh, at the first we call ourselves White Scarves because. When uh, we demonstrated in front of Azadi stadiums, which is the main stadiums in Iran, uh, they always ripped our placards. So we thought uh, they won't uh, rip our scarves. So we wrote our slogan on um, our scarves, which was half of Azadi, which means also freedom, is my share. We wrote so many letters to the like authorities, Iranians and international sport organizations. Until now, unfortunately, we couldn't go to the stadiums. But the thing is, in some countries, maybe the goal is not like, the, you know, the main things. It's also process of to reach this aim, it's really important. When Uh, I was 15 years old when I was talking about I want to go to the stadiums. I love football. Many people, they felt like I'm not a girl. I'm too boyish or uh, it's not good, you know, for the like uh, good girls. It's not a good thing to talk about these things. But the thing was, after several uh, years of working, which we won important success uh, during those years and you have to consider that internet at that time it was poor uh, there was no social medias at that time maybe just web blogs at that time our main achievement was like uh, FIFA and AFC they told us they won't give any major tournament to Iran because women cannot go to the stadium. Then sort of really bad happened. Uh, after election 2009 uh, crackdown, uh, some of our group, uh, group members got arrested. Some of them, they had to leave the countries. Even at that time, you couldn't even talk about going to the stadiums. And I remember I saw uh, that uh, Sepulter is coming to Iran. It was... I think 2013, one of the members of his team is Moya Dodd. I contacted her and talked to her that it's really important for us that Sepulter bring this to uh, the president or uh, other people that uh, women also want to go to the stadiums. And the best things that happened, imagine uh, he talked about that like women issue with the, you know, new president at that time, Rouhani. Then they uh, even banned volleyball and basketball too. The reason was there was a like, really important match between Iran and Japan, I think. There was some girls, they got so excited and they were jumping, so their hijab and their scarf went down. And some people, they uh, uh, took her photos of them and sent it to the Supreme Leader's office. When people went to demonstrate in front of a uh, volleyball stadium, they were saying no to those authorities. I remember the reaction of the security police was so brutal uh, and they uh, arrested some um, women. And probably you remember one of them, uh, she stayed in a jail for like five months. For me, as a like women rights activist, also it's painful. It's some of the girls they uh, wear like boy clothing uh, and they go to the stadiums. Imagine the image that someone have to change their identity to go to just watch football. These kids, they are like really <laughs> amazing. All of the one of them, she's like super cool. She went to the stadium and uh, her Instagram live was on. I saw like. Maybe 35 girls, they put on a beard, like fake beard, and uh, like uh, they add to their eyebrows and everything. They try to look like a boy, but they got arrested, unfortunately. And when they came out of the police station, they were all happy and they were like talking about the next time. They don't change their, their decision. 
until you force them. Under a pressure, they will say, okay, we have no choice. We have to, you know, accept FIFA's uh, word. My biggest wish, uh, football-related wish, uh, maybe it's uh, watching our national team in a stadium. And uh, also, in Iran, there's a two main teams, Estaglal and Persepolis. I'm a fan of one of them. And I really wish I can go to the stadium because it's the most, you know, uh, interesting match of the year. I re- I don't want to, like, give up in the middle of the way. I want to, like, until the end of the day and opening the stadiums, I want to be in this field.